Hey everybody, it's Damon, California Carnivores. Today I want to talk about a non-carnivorous plant that's really, truly special. And I'll give you a hint, it's this massive bloom all right next to me here. This is a very insanely critically endangered lily, Lilium iridole. I believe I'm saying that right. It was discovered relatively late for a plant like this. It was discovered in 1940, not too far uh, from Bob Hanrahan's property in Southern Alabama was where the type specimen was first recorded. And so it went a long time without being discovered. Uh, one of the things that makes it um, weird about a lily is it's from the Southeast uh, US. And of course, if you've seen some of other, other videos, you've probably seen uh, me talk about Lilium caduspii, which is another one of these lilies. Um, of course, this one's completely different. It's tall and orange looking, but they have a similar habitat and a similar um, horticultural requirements. So these guys are weird because they come from the south where it's hot and humid, which is not normal horticultural lily uh, care. Most, most lily collectors, they're not keeping them super humid. And then because they're from bogs and wetlands and they grow right next to pitcher plants very often in the southeast United States, if you can find them, and sometimes in wet streams that go through the um, pine woodlands. Uh, but they're very rare to find. And if you can find them there, they're always really, really wet. And if any of you lily growers are watching this, you're also thinking, oh God, I would never sit my lilies in a bucket of water. And so uh, they're really endangered in the wild, largely because of the same habitat destruction that's destroying all of our beautiful pitcher plants. Uh, and then in cultivation, also insanely rare because the lily growers had a tough time with them. And that was a good spot for Calcarn to step on in and figure it out because they do grow with pitcher plants and we've got that down pat. So it wasn't too hard to figure out exactly what they needed. It still took me five or six years. We had these things jammed in the hothouse for a long time and not quite enough light and they would sort of bloom and sort of grow. But it really wasn't until we brought them outside into the full sun where they did their full amazing thing. And this is the most of them we've ever had flowering ever. I mean, Maybe somebody has more of them somewhere, but I, I kind of doubt it. Another wonderful thing about it is Iridole, the uh, species name, the Latin name, refers to gold. Uh, and, and that's because the woman who discovered it and named it called it her uh, uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And so um, people either call it the panhandle lily or the pot of gold lily. They're just so fantastic. Uh, last year was the first year that we were able to sex, uh, successfully make seeds here. And so I'm hoping by next year that we'll have them for sale. We have several different clones. You can see um, we have like a really beautiful uh, green flowered form. They're starting to go yellow as they get old. But then we also have this really beautiful um, maroon leaved clone. And we're crossing them together so the plants that you buy from us will probably uh, could be either. Who knows? Um, but they're a really beautiful companion plant for any bog. 